What is happening, guys? Martin Martin is back again. You know where we are, so let's get into it. So, guys, um, again, thank you for the comments, the likes, and subscriptions. Um, the channel is growing and continues to grow, so I do appreciate the support. Um, also, guys, hopefully we can get to 1,000 subscribers. If you like the videos, please give a thumbs up, share, and like the video. That being said, though, guys, we're going to get into it in respect of this particular fragrance and there's a reason why i've not actually done a review of this fragrance in any particular detail i have my concerns with the fragrance and this is part of the reason why so as you can see guys um this is vibrant level oud this is the oud version um the cap is a, a uh, metal cap metallic cap sorry with a gold type of uh coloring gold type of trim if you want to get into that it looks pretty cool and the spray is not too bad now, when it comes to these fragrances, guys, the bottle can look one particular way. This is a newer type of version, so you can see the Zara logo is actually newer than the previous logo. Um, but it's all about the juice. And for £20 in the UK, which, again, I believe um, might be slightly less in the EU um, in comparison. But that being said, things are changing now, so that's another thing anyway. But that being said, though, guys, this particular fragrance, um, top notes came with bergamot. Mid notes came in with incense and the base notes came in with, um, it says, um, agarwood, 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 i.e. oud. Um, for me, guys, in all honesty, um, I can't really smell any oud in this fragrance. Um, the bergamot on the top notes, yes, and um, the opening is slightly more spicy. Um, the issue with for, for me, guys, with this particular fragrance, it doesn't really last that long. Um, I can't really get more than probably around about two hours on there. Um, the spicy notes in the opening seems to be slightly more interesting with the incense and some of that bergamot on the top notes. Um, I think there's a little bit of cedar in there. It says there's oud in the base according to Fragratica. I don't particularly believe there is. Um, I can't really smell any oud in that particular, um, in this particular fragrance. Just now going to their website, it's talking about saying it's got bergamot, incense and oud, same thing. Um, what is my issue with this fragrance? The longevity is not there. Um, I think it's one of those fragrances that you could pick up in the store, you could smell it and think, wow, that smells nice, that smells, in, the, in respect of the opening at least, it does smell spicy, it does have a bit of a, even sandalwood type of accord to it for me, from my nose which is not bad and um, if it stayed as it was in the opening i think this could go pretty well to go down pretty well um but at the same time it doesn't last particularly long i know there's some people that do like it and do say it lasts on their skin maybe for four or five hours unfortunately guys that doesn't really work for me um when would this fragrance be probably applicable because it becomes quite a skin scent as i say after about an hour or so maybe two hours to me it's probably still going to be more of a summertime fragrance maybe summertime evening fragrance um, it doesn't really give me um, an incentive to wear this in maybe say like a suit and tie sort of situation because I don't think it's going to last that long. Um, I want to project my fragrances or at least I want it to have some at least some type of um, um, longevity, especially when I'm going to maybe a slightly more of a formal occasion. Um, the bottle and everything looks like it's slightly more formal, but when I've actually asked ladies and said to them, what do you think between the original version of Vibrant Leather and this one, um, they've actually gone with the original version. Um, it's a real shame to me that this, this bottle or this particular fragrance has not done what it could have done. And I think the biggest disappointment for me is, is the fact that of the name being used as well, um, Vibrant Leather Oud. Um, this is nowhere, in my opinion, um, my opinion near to Vibrant Leather. Um, I think there may be some, a slight bit of birch in there, but that's the only comparison I'm picking up. Outside of that, I can't really pick up and say the two are like for like. Um, in no way, shape or form. I'm going to do a, probably a separate video and to get into the note breakdown in respect of the two um, and in respect of my thoughts sn sniffing two um, on, on each arm. But really guys, um, for me, this was a very big letdown and that's why I refused to do a video on it, but I will probably do it at some point now. Um, it's just that the name shouldn't have been used. This could have been a completely different Zara fragrance. They didn't necessarily have to use the name um, Vibrant Leather. Um, and unfortunately, um, that was used and I think it's a bit of a copycat because it doesn't really seem to, it's like a pale imitation of what the real thing is um, and potentially was. Um, I just don't I just don't see how that name is being used. And obviously the perfumer, um, which is obviously um, one of the key perfumers for Zara, it seems right now when it comes to these type of fragrances, so we've got to give him the, the big up. Um, but that being said, it's the same perfumer, um, but I just can't really get down with this one. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else on Zara's website that I've not picked up already. Um, I can't see anything other than the perfumers is Rome um, Epitant, which I'm going to hope is hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. Epitant. I'm hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, but yeah. Um, 
not really much to say on this one, guys. Um, it let me down with the name. Um, I, the longevity is not there. Is it worth twenty pounds? Probably not. If you're gonna between this and the other version or the original version, um, I'm going to probably try and wear this actually again. I'm thinking to wear this tomorrow if I don't wear the night put on too, um, and we'll see how it goes on a full day's worth of wear in the office. However, I don't really have much hope for this one, guys. Thank you very much. If you do like the channel, give it a thumbs up. Hope you save some money. Ciao.